Hello YouTube, my name is Nero. Today I have a very special video to share with you guys because today we are going to be taking a look at some never before seen cut content in the Call of Duty franchise. So about a year ago, I made my first video covering cut content and in there, I showed you guys a bunch of features and ideas that were worked on by the Call of Duty developers but ultimately never made it into the final release of their respective games. We had modes like the Vehicle Team Deathmatch that was going to be in World at War. We had the Hidden Black Ops MP40 Killstreak. We had all the cut perks in Modern Warfare 3. We had the secret fourth kill streak that was going to be in World at War. We covered a lot of things in that video. Well, after making that video, I was contacted by a subscriber named Riley who has access to a bunch of old Call of Duty dev kits, and he was able to send me a bunch of never-before-seen footage from various Call of Duty games. Today, we are going to be taking a look at that footage, so hopefully you guys will sit back, relax, and enjoy, and let's start things off here by taking a look at the banned Black Ops suicide animation, because a quick bit of back story here. Originally, the second chance perk in the original Black Ops was going to make you kill yourself with your pistol if you chose to take the coward's way out. At COD XP 2011, David Vonderhaar and Treyarch revealed that the animation was intended to be in the game, but the ESRB made them take it out because they did not want to have any depiction of suicide in the Black Ops multiplayer. Up until today, the only images we saw of that suicide animation was what we saw at Call of Duty XP 2011, but because Riley has access to an old Treyarch Arc dev kit for the first time ever we can see actual gameplay of the band animation. Now, I've got to tell you guys, that was pretty hardcore for a Call of Duty game. Like, I get that Call of Duty is M for Mature, but COD has always been, like, super arcadey and cartoony and colorful. But looking at that, that's pretty dark. And I can see why the ESRB did not want to have it as part of the original Black Ops. What's also really neat about this build of Black Ops is Riley is able to show us some incredibly old images of the multiplayer maps themselves. As you guys can see from these preview images, the game in its early stages of development had almost an entire different art style like these things look straight up cartoony if you ask me unfortunately these images are all we can see of the early map builds because when Riley loads up the maps on his dev kit they all look pretty much the same as they do today so I guess it's possible that there are even older dev kits out there that would show what the maps originally looked like but for right now all we have are these images and I think it's cool to see what Black Ops looked like during its earliest stages of development speaking of early stages of development let's move over to Call of Duty World at War here for a moment because what you guys are looking at is probably the earliest build of World at War in existence because the game was only three or four weeks into development when this was created. According to Riley and his buddies, this build was pretty much only used to test the netcode of World at War. As you guys can see, Treyarch used a lot of assets from Call of Duty 2 and Call of Duty 4 in this build and in fact, the map you guys are looking at is actually the cut multiplayer map Argoon from Call of Duty 4. Throughout Call of Duty's history, there have been many any multiplayer maps that were started by Infinity Ward or Treyarch or Sledgehammer or whoever, but ultimately they get cut because they just decide it's not a very good idea for a multiplayer map, and apparently Argoon was one of them. It was worked on by Infinity Ward, it was tested by Infinity Ward, but as you guys can see, it didn't get super far into development. So this is probably the only Argoon footage on the entire internet as of right now, and Treyarch used it in their early testing of Call of Duty World at War. And speaking of cut multiplayer maps, let's go ahead and check out the Call of Duty 4 pre-alpha multiplayer. Now, longtime fans of my channel will remember that last year I posted a video where I showed you guys a bunch of cut multiplayer maps from Call of Duty 4, and huge shout out to UHD Gaming for posting the original footage, link to him down there in the description. Well, today, Riley has hooked us up with even more footage of the pre-alpha multiplayer, and this time he shows off a bunch of cut nighttime multiplayer maps, as well as a bunch of early map and weapon builds that were eventually changed later in the game's development. Here we can see the cut nighttime version of Overgrowth, and I have been saying for years that Call of Duty needs to explore this area more in the multiplayer, right? Because it's incredible just how much replay value can be added to a game just by adjusting the time of day or the weather of the multiplayer maps. We saw it back in World at War with Macon and Macon Day, and we saw it just recently with Black Ops 3 when they added Fringe Nightfall and Redwood Snow. I would love it if Call of Duty were to do this more often. I know I've talked about it countless times here on the channel, but my dream for this 
series is for them to eventually add random time and or random weather to the call to the multiplayer maps. Imagine if in Black Ops 4 there was a daytime version and a nighttime version of each one of the maps and every time you loaded in there'd be a 50-50 chance for each one happening. That would add so much replay value to the game and now also imagine if they were to also add weather into that as well like clear skies or maybe overcast where it would rain or snow depending on the map's location that would be so incredible but unfortunately I don't see them ever doing that in the Call of Duty franchise that seems way too big scale like way too much work way too much effort on the part of the developers but still it's something I wish would happen for the Call of Duty series but regardless I think it's neat to go back and look at the cut nighttime multiplayer maps from Call of Duty 4 and also take a look at how the maps have changed over the course of the game's development right because here we see vacant and no doubt a lot of you guys played this map a ton during modern warfare remastered look how the map originally was designed like the hallways are in different areas there are different doors everywhere the rooms are completely different they changed this map so much between its early stages of development and then what we eventually saw in call of Duty 4 and then modern warfare remastered and speaking of redesigning maps here we have some very rare footage of wet work before infinity ward added rain to the map and here we see some footage of block before the developers trimmed it down which for those that don't know back in the day oftentimes the call of Duty developers would simply copy a campaign level and paste it into the multiplayer and from there they would trim it down and cut out sections and add some things to it to make it actually work within the multiplayer and it's looking like in the case of block they cut out an absurd amount of area because originally this place was going to have a basketball court and a bunch of side buildings and side entrances and all sorts of crazy stuff I would argue that today block is already too big apparently it was going to be bigger earlier on in call of the forest development and I know a lot of you guys have probably already seen this but originally the multiplayer map crash was going to have a downed Black Hawk helicopter instead of the downed sea knight that we know today and this is where Riley decided to show off some very early builds of the call of the four weapons I want you guys to take a look at these animations and listen to how the weapons sounded early on in the call of the four development I think it is so much fun to see early builds of Call of Duty games. I don't know about you guys, but I love seeing the early animations and hearing the early weapon sounds and seeing the early weapon camos. Did you guys see what the M4DA3 looked like? That was freaking incredible. I laughed way too hard when I saw that the Desert Eagle sounded like a shotgun initially. That was way too funny to me. I just love seeing this stuff so much. I could watch footage like this for hours, but today I want to basically condense down about an hour's worth of footage into this relatively short video and again big shout out to Riley and his buddy Adronic for supplying the footage and helping me put together this video there's a link to both of them down there in the description and there's also going to be a link to UHD Gaming who posts a ton of Call of Duty 4 pre-alpha footage to his YouTube channel be sure to check out all of those guys and if you guys would like to learn more about cut content in the Call of Duty franchise I have two other videos that I think you should check out one of which focuses entirely on the Call of Duty 4 pre-alpha multiplayer we look at the early builds of like every single one of the maps we also look at the user interface and some of the weapons and even a bunch of cut multiplayer maps so if that sounds interesting be sure to check that out especially if you're a big fan of a game like modern warfare remastered and the other video is going to focus on 10 bits of cut content from various call of duty games like i said at the beginning of the video that video covers the vehicle team deathmatch game mode that was going to be in world at war and the cut mp40 kill streak in the original black ops enemy mp40 spotted say hello to my mp40 
funny. And the Global Thermal Nuclear War game mode in Modern Warfare 2, as well as a bunch of other things. So be sure to check those videos out if those sound interesting. There's a link to both of them down there in the description, as well as, of course, all the guys that helped me put together this video. And I'm not sure if this is okay as of right now. I'm going to have to actually contact Riley about this. But if he gives me the go-ahead, I'll be more than happy to post up the entirety of the footage I showed you guys here today. I basically wanted to condense it down to a relatively short video so it's easier to consume. But if he's okay with it, I'd be more than happy to post up, like, all one hour's worth of footage that shows the Call of the 4 pre-alpha as well as the World at War super 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 pre-alpha and of course the footage from the original Black Ops which shows the banned suicide animation and stuff like that. Again, I'll have to get permission from those guys before I post it but if it's okay with them, I'd be more than happy to post it up here to the channel. As always, I will keep you guys updated but until then, I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section below and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.